Hello, trading is closed on May 24th, 2018. <clears throat> Yesterday I said the pattern was positive. Unless we gap down sharply, I expected to see higher prices. I thought a gap down was likely. <clears throat> we got the gap. I have a standard rule that says if you gap and promptly move outside of the prior day's range, it's equivalent to gapping down sharply. Now, by promptly, I mean dropping outside of the range pretty much in a straight line. I think that's probably close enough, but if somebody wants to say it wasn't a straight line because of the swiggle and make the call and miss because of it, I really cannot argue with them. But to me, gapping down and taking out these lows in a hurry invalidated the prior day's pattern. I had a target of 27.14.17, uh, 27, me JT system, said there was a 95% chance it would print today. It sure looked out of reach, but it did print. We looked for a pattern with an early low and a late high. We got that. Pattern has a tendency to close at the day's high. That didn't happen, but if we gap up tomorrow, as is likely, all is well. <clears throat> During the day, VJT gave a buy signal. It just means there's a higher price target. It isn't a call for the next move necessarily. Said this drop was false. We got the higher prices. Now, <clears throat> gapping down, hitting these lows, not holding on to them is positive. It's invalidated if we gap, promptly take out this low. Rallying all day, not being able to take out these highs, particularly in this pattern, which has a tendency to close at its high, is negative. But the negativity is erased if we gap and probably take out today's high. I think that's most likely what's going to happen because this is a wall. This is a hole in the wall gap. And the vast majority of the times, not every time, this hole in the wall gap fills and fills promptly, usually within a day or a day in the following days open after it occurs. We're looking for an opening and gap over this high, but there's resistance over the high. The daily pattern Friday and also Tuesday is one with an early low. Doesn't mean you won't gap up first. So the most likely thing, not a sure thing, but the most likely thing, I think, is you gap up, go over this high, find resistance, and reverse into roughly the bottom of the first hour of trading. I'm not going to have a video Friday. I won't have one. I might not have one Tuesday. I got some personal business to attend to. Um, Tuesday's the 29th. That's within my tolerance for the next date to watch. <coughs> um, again, some of these are amazing. Some fail completely. I'm going to be a bit late with my June dates. I wrote them out a year ago and left them in my other house. So I won't have those till maybe a week into June. Well, let's talk about the longer term since I won't have a video tomorrow. <coughs> if this to mark stuff is going to work, you really want to see a drop within three bars of bar 13. Well, this is bar number one. It's unlikely we're going to top out tomorrow. Somebody told me markets don't tend to top on Fridays, particularly Fridays before long holidays. So either next week or the week after, if this works, we should start to see a sizable drop. Wednesday of next week is um, within a day or two tolerance. The best, the best guess I have at this time. We're still looking for the end of blue two and look for a blue three comparable in magnitude and impulsiveness to this one it hasn't happened yet. Because of this consolidation, 
I think the most likely thing is we're going to top out probably the middle of next week, maybe a percentage point over where we closed today. But even though I don't think the top's in quite yet, if this holds, there is a wave count that would explain it. That would be one, be making the second wave here. That would be your W. That's your X. You can make this A and B if you want to. And then one more fling up would do the job. It's a plausible count. It doesn't break any rules. I still think we're going to go a bit higher than that. So I think the high is nigh, and it could come as early as next week. But the only call I'm going to make now is that the most likely thing is that we gap up, find resistance over this high, and reverse early. And that's today's call.